given, it's quite a reminder to think before you flush. The way we choose to dispose of personal wipes has become a public problem. The so-called flushable ones, officials say, actually have no place in our pipes. CBS 4's Francis Wang explains why. You flush your wipe down the toilet. Now where does it go? The journey of your wipes start with the pipes under your home, where Miami-Dade Water and Sewer Department crews use these tiny robot cameras to get in and look for problems. The grease and the, and the wipes, you know, that they throw down the toilet, that's what creates, you know, you put all that together. All that together becomes rags, items that the department says don't break down in sewer water. Items like paper towels, clothing, hair, female products, hygiene products, and wipes, both non-flushable and flushable. Now, there's no way to tell if the wipes are the flushable ones or not once they go down your toilet but they'll go from the pipes to the pump stations. There's no telling what else we'll find. Randy Erian has seen a lot in his nearly two decades working as a plant mechanic. When I started 18 years ago, we'd come maybe once a month wow. and unclog one of the pumps. And it just slowly gotten more and more often to like say three times a week sometimes. These pumps are an important part of the process and pressure is needed to push the sewer water through. If your wipe hasn't been caught yet, it'll end up here, a wastewater treatment plant. Like you see the stuff hanging from the one that is going up. Yes. That's rags too. Now I know this looks like a lot, but think about this. It's just a small fraction of the 300 tons of rags built up in just one month. And it's going to cost you, the customer. It costs about $200,000 a year to haul the rags at the pump stations and treatment plants to the landfill so they can be disposed of properly. Last year, the department spent more than $525,000 to unclog upwards of 650 blockages within the thousands of miles of sewer lines in the department system. At about $2.7 million a year for labor, materials, and tools, that's nearly $3.5 million your money going down the drain. Stop and change your habits just so that it protects you and your wallet. Companies like Kimberly Clark say their flushable wipes are not part of the rags problem and that blaming flushable wipes for sewer blockages is like blaming cyclists for downtown traffic. In fact, they say people flushing non-flushable wipes is why they introduced flushable ones in the first place. But water and sewer managers don't buy it. Even if the wrapper on the packaging of the items that you have say flushable, we're asking that you don't flush it down the drain because out of sight is not out of mind. These items are not breaking down fast enough. And so the fight over flushable wipes continues. The only things you should be flushing down your toilet is number one, number two, and toilet paper. Nothing else. No matter what the wrapper says, just stop the clog and dump it in the trash. Francis Wang, CBS 4 News tonight.